This one's dangerous. Stay on your toes. No, you don't! Let's move! My turn. Focus, activate. Ha. My turn. Eliminating targets. Got it. Got it. Let's move. Turn. 
That's that. Let's keep moving. Watch out! This is a tough one! My turn! Ha! Now's 
our chance. You're done. I'll handle it. I'll just activate. I can do this. Light. Rain upon us! Ha! Too slow. Ugh. My turn. Let's move. My turn.
second form. Gale! Now's our chance. Now, Thief! Yeah! My turn. Right. Arcus, activate. My turn. My turn. Targets eliminated. Let's get going.
watch out. This is a tough one. My turn. My turn. Arcus, activate. Very well. Now's our chance. Don't let it pass. Okay, Fight. yeah. My turn. Handle this. Now's our chance. Don't let it pass. Okay, Fight. yeah. My turn. Second form. Gale. <laughs> okay. Do this. Let's go. Okay. Eliminating targets. <laughs> now. Got you. Allow me. My turn. Second form. Gale! Now! You're done! Right! Here I go! Overdrive! Right! Rain upon us! I'll handle this. Now's our chance. Don't let it pass. Okay, Fight. understood. I can do this. Pimp. <laughs> okay. Eliminating targets. <laughs> My turn. Here goes. Overdrive. Uh, My turn. My 
blade will cleave the grints and light the way. Neutralized. Guess we're safe. I did it! Success. Huh? Thank goodness! That should suffice.
have also sensed the disturbance, I presume. Indeed. There was movement within the earth veins, but not solely that. I have said something else. Correct. The structure beneath which I was laid dormant, known to you and your friends as the Old Schoolhouse. Aha, there you are. <laughs> Long time no see. Nah, nothing like that. I'm just in Trista for work. I need Sarah and Mick for you, see? Figured while I was here, I might as well come and see how things have been with you. Then I saw you walking off over here, and it seemed like the perfect time to catch up and say hey, so, you know, here I am. This is that old building Valimar used to be sealed away in, huh? Sarah's the one who told me all about it, but she wasn't lying about how creepy it is. It's got this real weird air about it. Why are you hanging around here? Okay. <laughs> it's relatively peaceful right now, yeah. It won't last, though. If anything, it's only going to get worse. Thanks to Crossbell being annexed before a full on war could break out, things have on the surface calmed down. That's partly thanks to you, too. The only problem is, now there's no power out there at home or abroad capable of stopping him. And by him, I mean our friend the Blood and Iron Chancellor, of course. Hmm? What's up? Don't worry, Reen. Sarah's told me no more about what went down in that castle than she feels I need to know. I'm not privy to any details involving your friend's death or your private business. I can't pretend I haven't managed to fill in a few gaps just from putting two and two together, though. Oh, I don't doubt it. I'm guessing time will help in that regard, but it'll only go so far. 
Hey, Green. I know I've asked you this before, but you sure you wouldn't consider becoming a bracer? I really do think you'd be a natural. That you've got the physical strength goes without saying, but I think your mindset is right up our alley, too. The guild might be kind of limited in what it can do here in Erebonia, but we do work all over the continent. I'm not saying leave everything behind and run, but it'd be a good chance to look within yourself and think things through. Well, if that's what you want. That's a real shame, though. Here was me thinking I'd be able to bring a promising rookie into the fold, too. Eh, no big. We'll see if you change your mind come graduation. I'm not giving up on you just yet. Oh, there he is! Huh. Now there's a familiar voice. Wow. What did we do to deserve this honor? Reen. Toval. It's wonderful to see you both again. <laughs> I must say, I wasn't expecting to find the two of you here. Alone. Well, when I spoke to you yesterday, you sounded a little despondent. Which is what prompted me to tell her if she was that worried, she should come and pay you a visit. <laughs> You've got to be two of the most fearless young ladies in Erebonia. Although with the third most fearless young lady in Erebonia as an escort, I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about. I'm honored you would say so. It's good to see you again, Toval. Likewise. We're not exactly on the same side these days, but there's no need to let that stop us from being friendly off the clock. I'd like nothing more, honestly. Oh, I... I, uh... I, I assure you my accompanying them was purely by coincidence. I never once thought you were putting me out, so don't worry. I did wonder whether it might be best to stay out of your sight, truth be told. <laughs> Not at all. If I hadn't been so self-righteous, I'm truly sorry. Looks like another formidable foe has entered the fray. M Your Highness, please! Reen, I swear, you're a damn magnet for trouble when it comes to women. Well, this sure is an odd place for everyone to be hanging out in the middle of the day. to pet that glossy black fur again! Ugh, you're never going to give this up, are you? I thought something felt odd over here, but I guess that's because of you guys. Forgot what? Is something wrong? Oh yeah, you did say you were here for some reason. Is that the old schoolhouse's bell? Wait, didn't Sarah say that the last time this rang... What's happening? The building is glowing? Yeah, this is obviously serious. Unlike the last time, however, there doesn't appear to be any kind of barrier around it.
What in the world? It's just like the first night of the festival. Reen, what's happening here? Wait, Elise? Your Highness? Whoa! Claire and Toval are here too? What's going on here? Do my eyes deceive me? Are all three of the Fabulous Fifteens here in one place? Way to keep your priorities in check, Angie. What's happening here, Celine? Don't ask me, I just got here. Reen, can you tell us everything you know? I think we all need to be apprised of the situation. Here. This doesn't look anything like the inside of the old schoolhouse. It's changed form many times in the past, but at this point it no longer even feels like we're inside a building. The strange rumors about this place were around even when I was a student, but I never pictured anything like this. When was the last time it changed? A while ago. The last time anything this extreme happened was when the seventh floor opened up. Still, that was underground, right? This is the first time it's happened above ground, I think. Yeah. There's no sign of that door with the elevator inside, either. It's like all someone did was snap their fingers and the whole interior was changed in no time flat. I tried, but even my clairvoyance isn't enough to tell us anything. Nothing feels particularly off to me, either. Hmm? Well, if you two can't work anything out, the rest of us sure won't. But we can't exactly just leave and pretend we didn't see anything. Oh! Gonna try and see if Valimar knows anything? Yeah. Heed my call. Valimar, the Ashen Knight! You know how to do spatial translocation with him? Valimar, do you understand anything about the situation we're in? We witches only know half the secrets concerning the Divine Knights. But you're one yourself. Maybe you know something? Hmm. My numbers have yet to fully return. What I can confirm is that this place was created by the gnomes. Gnomes? Weren't they also responsible for building the spirit shrines we visited? Indeed. They're said to have worked with the Hexen clan's ancestors 1,200 years ago in order to accomplish something. That is correct. Some of their finest technology is gathered in this place. The creation of a large-scale phase space. The expansion of flexible materials. As well as the development of the trial system. Like the trial all of us overcame earlier this year? And presumably, the same ones Dreykul's the Lionheart and the Lance Maiden overcame before us. It must be. Crow was supposed to have overcome one under Ortis, too. Tell us everything that you know, Valimar. Why did the gnomes make a place like this to begin with? Why seal away the Divine Knights and make us overcome trials to obtain them? And what's happening here, right now? I have lost the knowledge with which to answer your questions. However, the key to all is known as the Great One. 
the first to be born, and the last to stand. The Great One, huh? The first to be born, and the last to stand. I feel as though I've heard those words before. Ah, <sighs> I'm sure it would mean something to Vita and the Elder, but I'm clueless. Furthermore, the entity you fought during the jet lag trial you overcame it is none other than the Shadow of the Great One. That huge thing? Hmm. I feel like something's clicking into place in my head, but not really. Still, if what happened here before was a trial for us to overcome, is what's happening now a trial as well? Most likely so. However, this is not an official trial you were intended to complete. I suspect some disturbance triggered the activation of a different trial, resulting in the current turn of events. Let me get this straight. This is all related to the truth behind what happened 1200 years ago, right? We've gotten ourselves wrapped up in something that's truly out of this world, haven't we? Wait, you aren't all thinking of... <sighs> You're gonna try and get to the bottom of this, aren't you? Yes. It might sound strange, but this almost feels like a continuation of the first night of the festival. And, by coincidence, this also happens to be our final free day. I think we can all agree that we have a duty to see this through. And we'll be sure to do so by the end of the day. I doubt it will compare to the trials we've faced in that infernal castle, but it should prove interesting nonetheless. <laughs> like there was even a point in asking, Sarah. I do believe we should be acting with a little more caution. Where do you begin preparing for a situation like this? Well, if you all insist. But we're coming too. You will? That would be a huge help. It would certainly make our investigation easier if you were with us. You guys rock. Yeah, you're all super strong! <laughs> In that case, I would be more than willing to assist you as well. Sharon? How long have you... Can you maybe stop doing the thing with the skulking around in the shadows and popping out at the last minute? Oh, Lady Sarah, I did nothing of the sort. I only arrived mere moments ago. Hmm. <sighs> Why are all of you always like this? Right! Okay! This time... I'll be coming with you all, to make sure you don't push yourselves too hard. Uh, but... This is our final free day too, you know. We want to make it one to remember as much as anyone else. I'll stay here and back you guys up. If you need anything, just say the word. Thanks. <laughs> we appreciate it. Well, if everyone else is joining in on the fun... The two of us would like to assist you as well. What? <gasps> Your Highness, I'm not sure... Please don't try and stop me, Captain. This academy was founded by one of my ancestors. And as a member of the Arner family, I hardly feel that I can turn a blind eye to what is happening here. And besides, I just so happened to receive this wonderful gift from my brother. Looks like... An orbal staff? Though it's a different size than the ones we use. Hold on a minute. Isn't that the Epstein Foundation's latest model? The Epstein Foundations? Weren't their staves the original model for the ones we've been testing here? brother used his connections to get it for me, and it's been adjusted especially for me, so I have no problems using it. A member of the Arner family using a specially adjusted orbal staff should be quite formidable. Yeah, I can see her being a real force to be reckoned with using it. 
Naturally, if Her Highness is going, I will be accompanying her. And I'm afraid that nothing you say is going to change my mind. But... <laughs> you're fighting a losing battle, Reen. If you're so worried about her, why not take her along so you can keep an eye on her instead? All right, I get it. Class 7, and everyone else kind enough to aid us? Our mission is to investigate and resolve the strange situation here. This is our, Class 7's, final trial. So let's give it everything we've got! 